This is Mark Conrad's property, and I'm in the backyard. We're doing a quote for weekly maintenance, uh, which is going to include the standard services, which is lawn mowing, uh, lawn fertilization, weed control, spraying weeds and planter beds, and pruning shrubs. Um, I did run the sprinklers for the lawn. It looks like uh, they are being watered every day right uh, currently. Um, we would recommend going down to three days a week. Uh, there is quite a bit of standing water and you could see that crabgrass and uh, nut sage is kind of um, taking over the whole lawn. Um, as part of our weed control for the lawn, the crabgrass should be dealt with by next year. That's gonna keep it from coming back after the winter. Um, the, the nut sage, we do need to treat that separately, so we'll provide a line item in the estimate to um, treat the nut sage, which is a two times a year treatment that should um, stunt it for the summertime and then kill it off eventually. But um, it's a yearly thing that we do two times a year. Um, pretty basic pruning here and, and weed control in the planter beds. There is a volunteer here that's kind of taken over. It's growing from under that fence right there. We'll provide a separate line item to go ahead and cut it down. And then as part of maintenance, if that if it ever or when it starts coming back, we'll treat that as a weed. We'll just spray it to kill it off. Um, let's see, all of the bushes, uh, you could see the rose bushes here that get enough sunlight. They are much bigger than the rest. Uh, so we'll need to just trim that as a typical uh, shrub. Uh, especially in the springtime to reduce the size of it and then it can bloom all year long. Um, this area right here where the stone wall is, there are lights. So when we're edging, we got to edge back away to create a little little barrier between the lawn and the lights. We don't want to, this to be happening. So this one that was knocked over, I kind of laid it like this. Um, so you want to make sure that we keep uh, lawn care equipment away from the lights. So very typical here. Um, this is the really wet area that I was talking about. Uh, looks like there's just no drainage. So if we reduce it down to three days a week watering, that should help a lot with this kind of stuff right here. Um, right here also standing water. Um, a lot of uh, nut sage and actually Kalinga too, but the treatment for nut sage should deal with the Kalinga as well. And um, so some bushes right here that need to be trimmed regularly. Uh, we definitely need to make sure to keep this, uh, the size of this bush down because if we let it, it will get taller than the house. We gotta make sure we maintain it and keep a clearance right here for the gate to be able to open and close. Um, this just needs to be hand pruned away from the fence and away from the house. It's a multi-trunk tree. I've seen these as bushes as well, but just you can see where it's been pruned before. We just need to keep the size down to about here, what it is right now and it's a very typical front yard I'm not gonna record it right now because I have to go through the house but our basic services and it's just nothing nothing's different about the front yard